Okay, in this video, we're gonna be covering two things I get questioned about all the time. First, how do you measure a golf club's length? And secondly, how do you measure yourself for a golf club's length? Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So this video is all about figuring out the right length for a golf club and what lengths are your golf clubs? I get this question all the time. It's a topic I've covered in a lot of different videos, but it's sort of encased in bigger videos, bigger build videos. So figure having a dedicated video just on this question will be helpful, I hope, to a lot of people out there. So what do you need to measure golf clubs for length? Obviously, there are plenty of golf club specific rulers out there that you can buy that make the process a little faster and easier to measure golf clubs. They are great. I will leave a link to a couple that I really like down in the description. But if you're only doing this for yourself, if you're only doing one or two clubs at a time, probably not something you really need to invest in. So that being the case, these are the two things that I would recommend. First one being the simplest, the one that you probably already have in your house, and that is just a basic extendable tape measure. The other one I like a little bit more, makes the process a little easier, it's a little more exact, and that is a 48 inch aluminum ruler. You can buy this pretty much at any hardware store. You want it to be 48 inches, anything less than that isn't going to allow you to measure all the different golf club lengths, and you don't need it any longer than that. Now first thing I want to mention here, doesn't matter what kind of club we're measuring, whether it's an iron, a wedge, a hybrid, a fairway wood, or a driver. It's the exact same process we're going to do regardless of what kind of club it is. So step one, we're just going to take the club, set it on the ground in its natural resting sold position. Now we're just going to take our 48 inch ruler or our tape measure and we're just going to slide it up underneath the shaft right up against the heel of the golf club as far as we can get it without actually lifting the club off the ground. And we're just going to let it sit right under there, resting on the ground, so that the ruler and the shaft are running parallel to each other. Finally, we can just go ahead and read whatever that measurement is. You can either sort of lean around to look at it, or if you want to kind of lift it up, I would just pinch the ruler and the grip together so they don't go sliding apart and read the length measurement. Again, we want to measure to the very end of the grip. That's going to be the final length of the golf club. You will find if you use the tape measure versus the 48 inch ruler, the measurement will very likely be slightly different. And that is because the tape measure has that little hook piece on the end that you use to hook over a piece of wood or things like that when you're trying to get longer measurements. That little hook piece sort of pushes the ruler back just a little bit so it makes the measurement slightly shorter. And remember, the most important thing is not the exact measurement to the eighth of an inch, to the sixteenth of an inch. We want it to be accurate. But more importantly is that we always do whatever club it is, measuring it the exact same way so that we are consistent in how we measure it. Because the truth is, different manufacturers, different brands have different standards both in what they consider standard length and in how they measure standard length. So there is no standard. So all we can do is try and be consistent with ourselves in how we measure. Okay, second question, how do we figure out what is the right length golf club for you as a golfer? And for me, I still think the best way to do this, the best way to figure out at least a good starting point is with a wrist to floor measurement. A wrist to floor measurement is exactly what it sounds like. We are just measuring essentially right here, the break in your wrist to the ground. We take that number, we plug it into a chart and we get a recommended golf club length. Now, a couple things we want to keep in mind here. First off, the measurement we want to take is on your lead arm. So for a right-handed golfer, we're going to measure the left wrist. Second thing, when we're taking this measurement, we don't want to take the measurement in a golf setup position. We're not sort of setting up to hit a ball. We are just going to stand in a completely neutral standing posture, feet shoulder width apart, arms at your sides. Now, we can use the 48 inch ruler or we can use the tape measure. Honestly, either one will work equally well, equally accurate in this application. Now, if you've got someone else who can take this measurement for you, it can definitely be a little easier because if you try and take it yourself, 
what can end up happening is, say you've got your 48 inch ruler, you're standing here, feet shoulder width apart, arms at your side, everything looks good, you kind of balance the ruler over here on your side, and then when you go to take the measurement and look at it, you kind of lean down, you kind of move around, the wrist kind of fluctuates a little bit and it may not be the most accurate reading. Now, if you're by yourself and you don't have someone else to measure it, I've got two different options for you. The first one is just using your cell phone. So all we're gonna do here is just set your phone up to just take a quick video and go through the process and record it. So we're just gonna lean our ruler. In this case, if we're doing it this way, probably easier to have a 48 inch ruler so it can lean, but you could figure out a way to do it with a tape measure also. But all we're gonna do is do our standing posture, arms at our sides, up next to the 48 inch ruler on video, then go back, take a look at it, and see where the wrist measurement was in the video. Now a second way to do it, if you don't wanna use your phone, and I've mentioned this in another video, is I've just got a little piece of masking tape here. I've got a little line drawn on it. The sticky side, I've wrapped it in a circle, the sticky side is on the outside. And I'm just gonna take the line and stick it right up where the break in my wrist is, like this. And now at this point, I'm just gonna do kind of the wrist to floor measurement up next to a wall, say like this, and just kind of stick my wrist up against the wall from right here and get the tape, and once it's kind of stuck there, just get it stuck up on the wall. And now we've got a measurement on the wall and we can come back with our 48 inch ruler or if you don't have a 48 inch ruler and you only have a tape measure, this is probably the easiest way to do it because it doesn't require keeping that tape measure extended. Now at this point, we just need to find a chart to plug this number into. I'm gonna leave down in the description a link to the one that I like the best, which is from Tom Wishon. Now it also includes not just the wrist to floor measurement, but it also asks for your height. So you figure out based on your height and that wrist to floor measurement, and it tells you what length iron it recommends for you, whether it's standard, a half inch over, a half inch under, inch over, inch under. So you plug those numbers in and you can figure out exactly where you need to be for your golf club length. Now, final thing I wanna say in this video, please remember these measurements, the wrist to floor measurement and the corresponding recommendation for golf club length. That is not set in stone, that is not a guarantee, that is not an absolute, that is really just the starting point. You may find based on your posture, based on maybe pre-existing injuries, based on any number of things, that maybe you need something a little bit longer or maybe a little bit shorter than what was recommended based off of that wrist to floor. But as a starting point, as a good way to sort of at least get you narrowed into a range where you wanna be looking, I think wrist to floor measurement is as good as anything. All right, that's it. If you have any questions about anything we covered here, definitely leave those down below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. Make sure you like this video. If you haven't already, go check out my other channel, Elite Fit Golf, where we do fitting videos, equipment review videos. Remember, you can always find me on Instagram at Mobile Club Maker, and I'll see you next time. Take care.